This is Wagner attorney Stuart Erickson. We're talking about uh, evidence now in jury trials and in the jury instructions, kind of how uh, the evidence is to be uh, used and viewed by jurors. And one of them is inferences. That's one of the jury instructions uh, that a jury could get is that the jury is allowed uh, and permitted to draw reasonable inferences from the testimony. And basically that is, you know, jurors are allowed to use their common sense. When they listen to all the evidence, uh, they're allowed to make conclusions, which common sense, uh, you know, dictates. They don't, not everything has to be spelled out exactly. They can infer one fact from another. So, so that's a, a big jury instruction. Uh, of course, direct evidence is, a, is another one. That is, you know, just testimony from an eyewitness. That's direct uh, evidence of uh, a photograph of a, of a shoe or a gun or a knife left at the scene. That's direct evidence. Uh, so that, that's direct uh, evidence. That's part of jury trials. Uh, circumstantial evidence is uh, another type. Now, a state can the state can convict on a, on a circumstantial case. So, obviously, convictions can be had when there's no eyewitness or no photograph, but piecing everything together. And circumstantial evidence is defined as proof of facts or circumstances which gives rise to a reasonable inference of other connected facts that tend to show the guilt or innocence of a defendant. Now, what the state of Oklahoma always does is you know, a circumstantial case or the inference is, let's say you you go to bed at night and uh, there's no storms, there's no rain, it's, you, you know, stars in the sky and you go to bed. All right. You wake up, you sleep all night, you don't ever wake up, you wake up at 8 a.m., say, you wake up, open your windows and there's two feet of snow on the ground. Uh, and that would be, you know, circumstantial evidence that it snowed and, you know, in, in a sense that, you know, you didn't witness it snow, you didn't see the snow falling out of the sky, but yet there it is. So, you know, you can tie those pieces together. Now, as the defense attorney, I'm the one gonna be poking holes in all of that, but, but there is inferences that jurors can draw from direct and circumstantial evidence. Uh, and so, and, and, and the law makes no distinction, like circumstantial evidence could have the same weight and power as uh, direct evidence. So. That is kind of uh, how some of the evidence works in a jury trial uh, and how the jury instructions work and how jurors would consider evidence. So if you have any questions about that, reach out to me uh, at wagnerlawyer.com. Stuart Erickson. Thanks.